Hi everybody, this is Mike Anello from DrupalEasy.com. Today I'm going to do a pretty quick screencast about the Uniform Server. Now the Uniform Server is a nice, lightweight alternative to Acquia Dev Desktop or XAMPP or WAMP specifically for Windows-based machines. There's no version of the Uniform Server for Mac or Linux or any other operating system. It's specifically for Windows-based machines. Um, the reason I like the Uniform Server is because it's portable, which means it downloads in one directory and you don't actually even have to install it. You just uncompress it and it's there. And it keeps everything in, it, in the one directory. So theoretically, you can put the Uniform Server directory onto a USB stick and pass it around and use it on different computers and everything will still work just fine. Um, Unfortunately, because Drupal is a little bit picky about the version of PHP that it runs under, we can't use the latest version of the Uniform Server. We have to go one back. Um, the latest version of the Uniform Server uses PHP 5.4, which, you know, if you use that with Drupal, you're going to see some PHP errors and or notices. So instead, we're going to use version 8.1.2 of the Uniform Server because that includes PHP 5.3. So if you click on that link, You'll come to the download page and make sure you download Coral 8.1.2. So this is the one you want to download. Now I'm not going to let you uh, have to sit here and watch me download a file because I've already downloaded it previously. Um, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a fresh copy of Drupal 7. So obviously you go to drupal.org, click on Get Started with Drupal, download Drupal 7.15. And then since you're on the Windows machine, you can download um, either the zip or the tar.gz, depending on what decompression utilities you have on your machine. And I've also already downloaded that as well. In fact, I've downloaded the, the most recent versions of Drupal 6, 7, and 8, because I actually tested this before I recorded the screencast, and all three major versions of Drupal appear to work perfectly fine on the Uniform server. So not only have I downloaded them, but I've actually uncompressed all of them. So once you uncompress Coral 8.1.2, you're left with a folder called UniServer. This is the AMP stack. This is what is portable. You can put this on any media you want, um, a USB stick or on a different machine, and fire it up, and it should run fine. I like to keep all my Drupal sites in the sites directory, so I'm actually going to copy this entire UniServer directory over to my personal sites directory. So I'm just going to drag that over. And then if I go over to the sites directory, this is the one that lives in my home directory, you'll see Uniserver. So if we open up this directory, um, you know, it's got a lot of the usual suspects, but then it has start as a service or start as a program. I like to start it as a program. That way I get a control panel that kind of sits on top of things that um, it's got a lot of options and it's kind of nice. So let's go ahead and start the Uniform server. Windows is going to ask you to give it, grant it some permissions. Um, and then it's going to prompt you to change the MySQL password. If you're on a local development machine, there's no need to do this. The default password that it uses is root. So the username is root and the password is root. So I'm going to select no, and then I'm going to select yes, because that's going to stop bugging me about changing the password. So at this point, we've got our little control panel here. Um, Apache and MySQL are both red, meaning they're not started, so I'm going to go ahead and start both. And while those are starting up, actually as soon as those are start up, you'll see that the Uniform ser uh, Server launches into its little splash page, and it's now serving from localhost. This basically tells you that the Uniform Server is installed and everything's good to go. Um, if you have another AMP stack or IIS or some other web server on the, your machine, make sure it's either using different ports or it's turned off. In this case, the Uniform Server uses standard ports. It uses port 80 for Apache, 443 for SSL, and 3306 for MySQL. So if you don't get to the splash page, it's probably some type of port conflict and you're probably going to have to turn off other AMP stacks. But if you get to this page, then you know that you're ready for the next step, which is actually installing a copy of Drupal 7. So back in our downloads directory, I go to my fresh copy of Drupal, and I'm going to copy that over to the right place. 
in my case, it's in the sites directory, back in the Uniserver directory, and all of your sites are going to live in this www directory. So anytime you create a new site, you're going to want to put the root directory of that site in here. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paste. And Windows is going to go ahead and happily copy Drupal 7 directory into our www directory of Uniserver. Now, while this is copying, um, the very next step is going to be to rename that folder. I like to have my uh, folder names as short as possible without any funny characters. So I'm just going to rename this to Drupal 7, nice and clean. So now that we have that directory in here, we should be able to navigate to localhost slash Drupal 7, where Drupal 7 is the exact same name as this directory. So I click return, and I end up at my Drupal 7 installation screen. So we go save and continue, and then save and continue again. And now it's prompting us for a database name, which we have not created yet. So we're going to go back to the Uniform server, and luckily it gives us a nice little link to PHP My Admin. And once we're in PHP My Admin, we click on the Databases tab and click, create, click to create a new database. So I like to keep everything very consistent, so I'm going to use a database name of Drupal 7, which matches my directory name. Click Create. As soon as you get the created message, you can go ahead and close out that window. Come back to your Drupal 7 installation. Type in the name of your database. Remember the default uniform server username and password is root and root for both. Hit save and continue. And then Drupal will happily plug along installing. Now, I can report that both Drupal 6 and Drupal 8 install just as cleanly as Drupal 7 is installing. So virtually any site that you're working on is going to work just fine. Unfortunately, with the Uniform Server, there's no way to change the version of PHP. Um, but you can get a different copy of the Uniform Server with different versions of PHP. And because they're so lightweight and portable, it's actually not a terrible way of doing it. But this version with PHP 5.3 should satisfy the vast majority of Drupal sites in existence right now. So it looks like our installation is just about done. So let's go back there and we'll finish things up. I like to turn off the notifications, especially on local sites. I just find I get too much email already. Hit save and continue, and we're going to see that we have good news that our site has been installed. Now, whenever I install a new site, especially on a new AMP stack, I always like to check status report just to make sure everything's cool. So if we come here, we see everything is green with the exception of update notifications, which I just turned off. But we're good to go. At this point, you can come into your Uniserver www directory and start dropping modules or themes or building out your site. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.